Nearly 50 years ago, Maine became the first state in the country to abolish parole, mostly because of public perception that the parole board was too lenient. Now that decision could be reversed thanks to a new bill being proposed in the state legislature. Today, dozens of people testified in favor of it, but the Maine Department of Corrections and Governor Janet Mills say they are not convinced. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry is at the State House this evening with a look at the complicated issue. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Brian and Amanda, after a seven hour public hearing, folks on the Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee heard from dozens of Mainers about why they should or shouldn't reestablish parole. Like you said, about 50 years ago, Maine was one of the 16 states that got rid of parole. And now Senator Beebe Center is proposing a bill to bring it back. That's being supported by folks who have been incarcerated themselves and prison reform advocates. But the Department of Corrections says they have plenty of opportunity in place for folks who are incarcerated including supervised release. I'm here today to present LD 178, an act to support re-entry and reintegration into the community. Senator Penny Beebe Center is not alone in her efforts to reestablish parole in Maine. On Monday, the Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee heard hours of testimony from those in favor of the senator's bill, including from Dr. Arthur Jones. Parole is an opportunity for an offender to serve the remainder of the sentence in the community. Jones has served on parole boards in New Jersey and Rhode Island before retiring to Maine. He says having parole motivates people who are in prison. They get less uh, disciplinary infractions, they're more inclined to get involved in programs. But Maine Department of Corrections Commissioner Randy Liberty says the DOC already has plenty of programs in place to support incarcerated Mainers, including substance abuse programs, supervised release, and education programs. We currently have more than 90 residents uh, that are in our care that have been released into the community. We've had about a 77% uh, success rate. So I think the program that we currently have works well without adding additional tax dollars to the tax burden. Liberty says that the state would have to hire more probation officers in a board, which would cost Mainers more in taxes. Courtney Gary Allen with the Recovery Advocacy Project says the department is making strides with what's offered to incarcerated people, but there's still more to do. So parole is just one more way that we can get people uh, back into our community and begin to become productive members of our society. Commissioner Liberty says that public safety needs to be the primary concern of the department. I think it's important that the victims, uh, the survivors of crimes, have a voice in this process. Governor Janet Mills also opposes parole. In a statement last week, her office says the state already has a supervised release program and adds, while well, the governor supports criminal justice reform efforts that advance the rehabilitation of incarcerated individuals consistent with their sentences as decided by a judge, she is troubled by the lack of consideration given to victims of these crimes and their families. And Shira Burns from the Maine Prosecutors Association adds that the bill itself has a number of issues. When I hear a lot of people are in favor of it, they're in favor of a concept term, but have not applied it to the actual words of this bill. I spoke to a woman who says her husband was murdered several years ago. And just thinking about the fact that Maine could bring back parole brings back a lot of memories for her and is causing her quite a bit of anxiety and stress. She, like I said, wanted to remain anonymous and didn't want to testify against this bill because she doesn't feel safe to do so. So just another, you know, group of people who aren't willing to testify. Brian. Jackie Mundry live in Augusta for us tonight. Jackie, thanks so much.